Hello and welcome. A new case in operations research and the topic is the chapter linear programming and topic in that is formulation of a linear programming problem from a real life or managerial problem. The next case or problem with us is a commercial transport operator has received an order to move 3000 tons of raw materials to a factory which is 1000 kilometers away from the source of raw material. The operator has available at present a fleet of 150 type A 15 ton trucks and another fleet of 100 type B 10 ton trucks. Type A truck, the capacity of one truck is 15 tons. That means 15 tons of raw materials can be carried by one type A truck and 10 tons of raw material can be carried by one type B truck and their numbers are 150 and 100 respectively. The operating cost of this truck are rupees 9 and rupees 12 per ton kilometer to carry one ton goods one kilometer away. The costs are rupees 9 and 12 respectively. The operator has a policy of retaining at least one type A truck with every two type B trucks in reserve. They don't put each and every truck on road. They keep some trucks in reserve. The ratio is against every type A truck kept in reserve, two type B trucks will be kept in reserve. It is desired to know how many of these two classes of vehicles should be dispatched to move the material that is 1000 kilometers away at the minimum operating cost. Formulate this problem as an LP model. Total quantity of raw materials as given in the beginning of the question is 3000 tons. 3000 tons of raw material is to be moved 1000 kilometers away. We have 150 type A truck capacity 15 ton per truck. 100 other 100 type B trucks capacity 10 tons per truck. Costs are rupees 9 and 12 per ton kilometer. That means this is the case of minimization of total transportation cost. Minimization. The objective will be minimization of cost because in case of cost we are always interested in minimizing the cost. But first of all the problem says it is desired to know how many of these two classes of vehicles should be dispatched. This is the problem. How many type A trucks and how many type B trucks should be on road for this purpose. So there are two decision variables. Two type A and type B trucks. How many? That is our main question. Objective to minimize total cost. You can write total transportation cost. Now, in this case, we shall have to calculate the cost per truck, and that will be first of all. I am trying to give you a formula that will be cost per ton kilometer multiplied by tons per truck multiplied by total For type A, this will be cost given to be rupees 9 per ton kilometer multiplied by tons per truck, 15 tons multiplied by total kilometers or total distance, 1000. 9 multiplied by 15, 135 and 1000 kilometers. 135 will be the cost to move 15 tons of raw material 1 kilometer away. And that type of 
एक्टिविटी फॉर वन थाउजेंड किलोमीटर सो इट कम्स टू रुपीज वन लैक थर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड पर ट्रक सो इफ वी पुट वन ट्रक ऑफ टाइप ए ऑन रोड द कॉस्ट विल बी वन लैख थर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड रुपीज फॉर मूविंग फिफ्टीन टर्स ऑफ गुड्स वन थाउजेंड किलोमीटर्स नाउ फॉर टाइप बी ट्रक द कॉस्ट इज गिवन टू बी रुपीज ट्वेल्व कैपेसिटी गिवन टू बी टेन टर्स सो इट विल बी रुपीज वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फॉर किलोमीटर एंड थाउजेंड किलोमीटर सो इट कम्स टू रुपीज वन लैख ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड और वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड पर ट्रक दैट मीन्स इफ वी पुट वन ट्रक ऑफ टाइप बी ऑन रोड फॉर दिस एक्टिविटी इट कैन कैरी टेन टर्स ऑफ गुड्स वन थाउजेंड किलोमीटर अवे एट द कॉस्ट ऑफ रुपीज वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी नाउ इफ वी मल्टीप्लाई दिस अमाउंट ऑफ रुपीज वन लैख थर्टी थाउजेंड बाय नंबर ऑफ टाइप ए ट्रक्स ऑन रोड एंड If we multiply this amount of rupees one lakh twenty thousand by number of trucks of type B on road, the result will be total cost if we sum those two amounts. Now constraints, a very few constraints. First is quantity of raw material. Capacity fifteen tons and ten tons, and total material to be. Transport area is three thousand tons. Similarly, another is number of trucks on road. Now, it has not been given exact number of trucks to be kept as reserve, but the ratio has been given against every type A, every or means one type A truck, two type B trucks will be kept in reserve. Number of type A trucks are one hundred fifty. So if we believe that only one is kept in reserve, then one hundred forty nine trucks of type A will be on road. If we keep two in reserve, one hundred forty eight will be on road. If we keep three in reserve, one hundred forty seven will be on road. Okay. So this is. Actually, less than or equal to number of trucks of type A on road will be less than or equal to 149. Similarly, if we keep one type A truck as reserve, we have to keep two type B trucks in reserve. So maximum number will be ninety-eight. That means. If we keep two here, we have to keep four here, so it will be ninety-six. If we keep three here, we have to keep six here, so it will be ninety-four, and so on. So this will be the maximum possible number of type B truck on road. So it will be number of trucks of type B on road will be ninety-eight or less, less than or equal to. Now, this is the required working note. Now formulation as an LPP. so there are two decision variables let the number of trucks on road for this purpose be type a x1 type b x2 trucks to minimize total cost what will be the total cost z per type a truck it is rupees 135000 multiplied by number of trucks x1 that will be the total cost for type a trucks all type a trucks plus 120000 multiplied by type b trucks x2 this will be the function of total cost this has to be minimized but subject to the following constraints the first is 
टनेज पर ट्रक इज 15 सो टाइप ए ट्रक टोटल मटेरियल टू बी ट्रांसपोर्टेड बाय ए ट्रक विल बी 15 x1 से दैट इज क्वांटिटी 15 टन्स इनटू x1 नंबर ऑफ ट्रक्स प्लस 10 टन्स इनटू x2 नंबर ऑफ ट्रक्स टोटल मटेरियल इज 3000 वी हैव टू ट्रांसफर आइदर 3000 और लेस we can use sign of equals to or less than or equal to. I prefer writing less than or equal to. And these are two individual constraints. Number of trucks on road. Type A, that means X1 will be less than or equal to 149. 149 is possible is possible only if we keep one truck as reserve. If we keep two, it will be 148. If we keep three, one it will be 147. So ultimately it will be less than or equal to 149. Similarly, for type B, it will be 98 or less. And as usual, number of trucks. can never be negative. X1 and X2 both are non-negative. So this is the linear programming problem or mathematical model of a managerial or real life problem. That's it. Thank you.